All right, Shalom. Shalom. Hey, I want to start out by giving our praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. The bond to the elders and apostles for teaching us this truth and blessings to the brothers for pushing the word throughout the four corners. All right, I'm the brother Karab, and to my right, you know Allah. All right, we come with a beautiful lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Basically, going into uh, basically mortify the deeds of the flesh. All right, mortify the deeds of the flesh. And the word of the day was going into uh, concupiscence. concupiscence. Mm -hmm. All right, and when you go into concupiscence, it goes into a strong sexual desire. All right, lust. Okay, it goes into uh. That's going to the the anthem. Because the, okay. the Google, you know, gonna give you a little list. Concupiscence. Concupiscence. This is concupiscence in the etymology. Mm -hmm. Ardent desire and proper or illict desire. Mm -hmm. Lustful feeling. Eager desire. It goes into to be very desirous of, to long for. Uh a desire of sexual enmity, intimacy, right? Intimacy. 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 The water, brother. Hey, basically, hey, we going into these, hey, these lustfuls and strong flesh desires, man. All right, hey, within yourself, because you your worst enemy, man. Man, you gotta refrain from these desires. This, hey, this this wicked vibration is out here. All right. Hey, they tell you in the scriptures, the whole world live in wickedness. Okay. Hey, and the vibrations, hey, they are strong as hell, you know? Hey, every time you turn on the TV, Esau Edom, this so-called white man that's in rulership, hey, he's pushing wicked and heavy agendas each day right. on our kids, on us. Hey, we got to get up out of here. Hey, but we got scriptures to basically back up this lesson. Hey, Lord willing, you be edified, man. All right? Go ahead and get that Colossians, bro. Cause, so this is Colossians chapter 3, starting at verse 4. It says, When Hamashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. You see, hey, it's a certain way, man. You're going to have to meet the Lord, man. Well, the Lord going to have to meet you. You know, it's a lot. The Lord going to hey, you're gonna have to have to come right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, those, those fleshly, that, that worldly man that you, hey, that old man, hey, he got to get put to death. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you, that's why it's called mortify the deeds of the flesh. The Lord wants you a certain way. Keep going, brother. It says, or upon earth, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affections, right. evil concupiscence. And it says, and uh, covetousness, which is idolatry. Right. Concupiscence. Concupiscence. Con right. We read that one more time. It says, for fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affections. Evil, concupiscence, right. and covet covetousness, which is idolatry. Right, which is idolatry. A a heavy idolatry. Idol, idol worshiping is heavy out here in America, man. Anything can be an idol. Yourself, material things. Hey, all these things, hey, are are basically traps for us. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's why the Lord always tell us to read, to study, stay occupied. Those things is gonna depart us. From the snares of death and uh -huh. spiritual. Let me go ahead and get that John right there. Let me get that. Uh, I read verse six. Uh, read uh verse six it says, For which things sake the wrath of the most high cometh right. on the children of disobedience. Who who's Come. the children of disobedience? Hey, two thirds of our wicked people, man. Uh -huh. All right. Two thirds of Israel, the hard headed Adam of Stone Israelites. Come. The ones that refuse to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shemaiah Shai, they refuse to listen. They just don't want to get in order. Mm -hmm. They are fully in the world, man. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you let uh concupiscence. concupiscence, right? That's what happens when you let your lust and those strong desires uh, overtake you. Yeah, come. You become a, a, a disobedient child. If I may add, um, it's 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 like you idol worshiping because you giving your more time to those things, those lustful things. That's why the Lord said it's idolatry because, hey man, you not um, 
you're not giving that strong affection to the Lord that you're supposed to. That's right. See? That's right. That's why the wrath coming to the children of disobedience. Man, hey, they desire is off, man. Your mm -hmm. desire is supposed to be the, the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. But it's 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 in the the deeds of this it's in the deeds of this world the pleasures of this life. I got a scripture. It's Proverbs thirteen and fourteen. The law of the wise is the fountain of life. To depart from the snares of death, man. Hey, this that valley. Hey, this that valley shadow of death right here, man. Mm -hmm. We walk through here daily, man. Hey, we gotta be on guard. Okay. Let's go get the next one. This is James chapter four and four. It says, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High. Right. Let's go into that word enmity for you New Testament Bible readers only. Let's go to the e -M -E -M -I -T -Y. Yeah, I'm going to read it again. This is James 4 and 4. It says, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High. Right. When you go into enmity in the in a et etymology, late 14th century, it goes into hostile feeling, robbery, malice, eternal conflict. Come on, man. Enemy, hostile act. Ooh, come on, man. Hey, that's what's, that's how the Lord feel, man. It, it, um, at the at, at the children that he loved, that he esteemed above all people upon the face of the earth. That's how he feel when you um giving your time and and those lustful desires to things that's not pleasing to the Lord, man. Hey, the Lord is is mad, man. He's gonna treat you like an enemy, a op in today's world. Hey. So. Good. Finish dead, I got a precept for you. Good. And it says, uh, finishing off, it says, Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the most high. Right, you're an enemy, man. Hey, now you are <laughs> now you finna be violently judged, man. Mm -hmm. All right, you finna be a hey, the Lord finna put that pressure on you. You finna get that rod of correction. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's mainly speaking to our people, because them the only people that can come back and repent. Okay, them the only people that who the Lord is gonna have mercy on. But they're going to come back in Hebrew hoogies, though. Okay. But this is seven, this is Psalm 7 and 11. You can get the next one. Right. Yahweh about Shema Rashi judges the righteous. And Yahweh about Shema Rashi is angry with the wicked every day. Mm -hmm. And back up the uh, enmity, right? Another word, another similarity word for enmity is anger. You just read it. It was hostility. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the Lord is very hostile with this place. He hates it, man. Huh? It is not a. Hey, don't go by his. A. Hey, don't. A. Hey, it is. It's not lawful. Mm -hmm. All right. It's not righteous. Man. Yeah. It's not. It's not righteous here, man. It's, right. it's unrighteous decrees here. That's right. But the back of that precept. This is First John, chapter two and verse fifteen. It says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world." Right. If any man love the world and love not not the fa father, hold on, Salakia. So if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right, hey, the love of the Father is not in you. What is love? Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. Keep um, going. It says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, right. the lust of the eyes, Concupiscence. and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Right. What scripture tells you, a hey, pride is when one departed from his maker. Hey, once you depart from the uh, the ordinance of your how about shit, my yeah, yeah. you through, man. Come. Hey, you out there. Hey, you 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 moving right with the world, man. Come. And guess what? You're gonna be judged with it as well, too. That's right. So this is a uh, Jew. Oh, whew, that's a spirit, man. Yeah. Hey, chapter one. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's, gonna hit. that's beautiful. Hey, cause hey, you gotta hey. I want you to re remember the names of these places. This place right here. Yeah, man. For this, uh, with this in Revelation, what it say? <laughs> this place is spiritual Sodom. Spiritual Sodom in Egypt. All man. right. So hey, this, everybody. what this is first? This is uh, Jude chapter one and verse seven. It says, even as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities about them, in like manner. In like manner. What manner goes into conduct, behavior? In like manner, right? Keep going. Giving themselves over to fornication. And like is, is like a you know simile, mm -hmm. like a ass. Yes, comparing it's comparing uh 
two comparing things. two things, yeah, right? Using like a ass, like a ass. Basically, a is 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 what what is Sodom and Gomorrah comparing them to? Yeah, these times that we living in right. now, man. America, come on, man. Revelations eleven and eight. We just quoted. Hey, they dead bodies should lie in the street of that great city, which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt. Come it's on. the spirit, man. That's it's right. all about the spirit. The spirit. That's how you identify things, man. That's how you identify. Uh, 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 you know, that's how you use discernment. Mm -hmm. That's how that's how you get the true judgment according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Not that worldly judgment. Hey, according to the scriptures, man, America is that place that's going to be destroyed. Keep reading. That's brother. right. And it says, this is Jude 1 and 7, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them right. in like manner giving themselves over to fornication right. and going after strange flesh <laughs> and set forth for an example Suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Right. Hey. And that's, hey, that's what's about to happen now, man. <laughs> Same example, all the way straight through. Just minus the brimstone, minus the fire and brimstone. It's going to be missiles this time. Yeah. Same fire, but, well, not quite. It's going to uh -huh. be more fuel for the yeah. fire because yeah. the Lord is angry, man. Yeah. And he's going to show that, God. you know. That's right. Uh, second answers real quick. Yep, second answers. Then I'm gonna get that Romans. Then we just gonna hey, all right. Gonna do it like Nike. Come. This is second answers like it. Chapter fifteen and verse eight. And verse eight. Mm -hmm. Uh, I started seven. It says, "Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more. It's touching their wickedness." Oh, and you know what that sound like? That sound like Isaiah forty-two. And seven, what he say? He said, "I have long holding my peace. Now will I cry and travail? I mean, yo, well, now would I cry like a woman in travail? You know, hey, the Lord is angry, but now he about to put that anger into action. That's a scary sight. Keep going, brother. It said, touching their wickedness which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Mm -hmm. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood." cry unto me and the souls of the just complain continually right and who is the just the elect mm -hmm. the hopeful elect lord when do we be those men that's right we crying every day for the abomination that are done in the midst of man we Come sick on. of it, ready to be delivered God. hey how more filthy <laughs> what it say if, if the lord having shortened the days for the elect's sake would no mm -hmm. flesh be saved yeah, no flesh be saved yep. all yeah. right hey i'm gonna get that romans all right this is romans chapter 1 verse 21 and it's going to be uh, because that when they knew Yahweh by Shema Bashah, who knew, who are the people that know the Lord? Israel. Mm -hmm. They glorified him not as the Most High. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Mm. Right? And what is our, what they foolish heart can darken by? The ways of the world. Right. The world pushes that thug life, black family, uh, uh, black behavior. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the scripture, yeah, death. Mm -hmm. But the Lord. Uh, the Lord say otherwise, man. Hey, sure. renew yourself. God. Okay, transform yourself, man. Hey, mortify the deeds of the flesh. That's right. Might well get this one. This is uh First Corinthians chapter 15. Uh I just started 34. It says, Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of the most high. I speak this to your shame. Right, man. Some don't hey the knowledge is the judgment, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, the do's and the don'ts. Come on, man. Hey, if you ain't got that, hey, you are dead to the world. That's right. Hey, he that went away from the from understanding should it's remain in the congregation, congregation of the, of the dead, dead, man. And guess what? Romans 1 has been explained that. That's because right. when you wander away from understanding, these are the demons and the spirits that come upon you, the left hand spirits. Mm -hmm. It's Romans 1 that was finished. Yeah, yeah. It's Romans 1 and 28. Even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge. Away from understanding, mm -hmm. yeah. By Shemal Shah gave them over to a reprobate mind That's right. to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, uh, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of the Most High, despiteful, proud, boasters. Inventors of evil things, disobedient mm. to parents. Who mm. there's a lot of evil spirits on you, man. Mm -hmm. Without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. Because what the Lord said, was they ashamed when they committed iniquity mm -hmm. in Jeremiah? No. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, they it's love a, to do it, man. It's the lust right. they love to do it. Right. Well, yeah, you keep getting it. It feel good. <laughs> but it got a horrible end. Man. This is Romans 1 and 32, last verse. Who knowing the judgment of the Most High, <laughs> that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Woo. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Mm. This is Romans 1 and 32 and NLT. They know the Most High's justice requires that those who do these things deserve to die. Yet they do them anyway. Worse yet, they encourage others to do them too. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. horrible end for this unrighteous generation, man. Come hey, we are gonna give our praises to you. Howard by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhakadash, the ones that are in the past for teaching us this truth and blessing to the brothers pushing the world throughout the four corners, man. Come. Hey, keep pushing. Come. Hey, DTA. DTA. Shalom. Hey, Shalom.